Welcome back guys, my name is Rick and Rick. Hope you guys are enjoying your day, I know I am. I'm so glad, you know why? Because I'm going to work today. Yes, that's right, I'm going to work today. But don't worry guys, I've record, I'm going to record a gameplay for you guys. Earthbound, yes, the Earthbound original for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I forgot about that. It's for the Super Nintendo Earthbound. But, luckily for me, I got it on the Wii U Virtual Console. It is available online, so it's not exclusive for me, it's it's available for everybody. So go ahead and download this game if you guys want. Let's go ahead and continue the gameplay from the last live stream that I did. So, as you remember the last time that I left off, I told you guys, if you wanted to get into uh, Tucson, you actually have to level up to 12 or something. Actually, no. I was reading a little bit. I, I do my research. I was reading up a little bit. You have to get to at least level 7 or 8, preferably 8. That way, you won't end up having to return, lose, return, lose. You don't want to do that. You just want to win and go through. So, let's go ahead and get... We have a little bit left. We have... 420 28 ex experience points for the next level so all i need to do is just get 29 experience points and what you guys can do is you can actually just you know go around on it well because i'm a level six i really don't waste my time um beating these guys what you do want to do though is go for the sharks and their gangs because they're easy to beat uh if you're level six and you want to have a few things equipped as well. So let's go ahead and do bash. And he's already done. See, that's that's why it's so easy to like confront these um, enemies because they're easy to actually get experience points. Okay, so we keep on going down. I'm, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and skip down all the way to where we need to go. So this might be a while. Okay, another thing that I want to give you guys as a tip, don't, like, if you're confronting these guys, um, oh yeah, they'll eventually end up calling their friends, eventually. So what you want to do is just try bashing him, and he'll eventually, um, smash, there you go. I got lucky this time. Um, but yeah, what you guys want to do, though, is if you see more than one on the street, do your best to like have get the attention of just one of them and then run away as far as you can so that way they won't end up ganging up on you and you'll actually end up getting experience points for that okay so how much do i need left okay i need 11 left and i hope he doesn't end up calling anybody because they will eventually end up calling somebody one of these guys ends up calling somebody Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, show you guys what I have um, equipped. Now that's important too. You need to have good equipment so that way you won't end up losing that much health. And you end up giving more damage. So hopefully it's enough to get me to the 7th level. Yes it is. Okay, my fence went up by 1, speed up went up by 1. Can I get more HP and uh, physics points? Let's see. 13, yes! ukulele that is awesome so let's see we can actually go ahead and go inside and be one of the sharks which is our leader or we can just keep on going down i mean getting more experience points that way it'll be easier for him for us i mean so yeah this is what i have the t-ball bat you can actually get it in the store the drugstore that's right next to the burger joint you can also get the cheap bracelet. I recommend getting the cheap bracelet from the local store too because it will actually up up your defense and your weapon will actually level up your offense. So if you have an offense of 20 and 15, then that's a pretty good chance that you might actually end up winning. Unless, of course, they end up ganging up on you, which you don't want. Now, Mr. Baseball Cap, as you guys recall in the live stream, we actually got it from the secret treehouse that they have. One of the guys from the bottom of the screen will actually end up giving it to you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and keep on leveling up if you guys don't mind. Yeah, just drag him far away from his friends. That way you guys will end up just fighting one at a time. I know it takes time, but believe me, it's the safest option if you want to go through there. You see, now I only took one damage. Uh, oh, okay. So sometimes we don't get lucky on that. That's the good part. Now I see. No, I know why they get the skate 
why I, I see why they end up getting called sharks. Because this guy has like a little fin thing magic going on top of his head. I won! I gained 12 experience points. Trust me, when you want to level up, it'll get easier throughout the game to level up. Two cent on it, those first three levels will end up being hard to level up. But once you get enough, um, what do you call it? Once you get enough, um, defense and offense, trust me, it'll be a breeze. You'll want to defeat, like, those harder enemies. And I just missed, okay. See how they don't give me that much damage anymore? Because I leveled up to level at least 7. And I got um, a few equipment to protect myself. That's actually a good idea if you guys want to go through. And he left a present. I hope it's a ha yes, it's a hamburger. Yes, also stock up on hamburgers. Because you don't want to end up using your, your healing just... Whoa, did you guys see that? There's like four of them. Run away as far as you can. You don't want to end up calling their friends. Which I know eventually one of them, he's going to end up calling his friends. No, I think I have, I have a chance. Yes, I have a chance. See, now they're a lot easier to defeat. I mean, he left a hamburger, I'm pretty sure. Yep. All these guys have a hamburger. Sometimes you'll end up defeating them and they'll have a hamburger on them. Come on, Sharky Poo. Follow me to the forest. <laughs> yes, man, Jr. I wonder how the creators ended up having to come out with these names. Yes, man, Jr. How do you see a yes, man, Jr. in this guy? <laughs> oh, he just missed. And I won again. <laughs> so. I'm probably just gonna skip all of this so that way you can. Ooh, this is my time to heal. If you see a butterfly, you might want to life up. Because then that way you can max out and then they, that way you can regain your lost um, points. Your physical points. See, these are the types of games that you wish you can. I, I wish some people would actually like appreciate because. This is from the Super Nintendo era. I mean, come on. Super Nintendo was my era too. Although I never got a chance to play Earthbound on the Super Nintendo, my games were Mario mainly. Just Mario. It was, um, let me see. It was mainly, um, Super Mario World, Mario Advance or something like that, I think. Um, it was that one and it was Toy Story. Which other one was there? Um, Toy Story, Super Mario, and I think. Which other one did I have? I think it was Sonic 2. I think it was Sonic. Unless I'm wrong. It could have been another game. But those are the two main ones that I remember having. And then after a while, my 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 era was also Nintendo 64. So these were my consoles. From the beginning to end would be the Super Nintendo. Um, and then it would be the Nintendo 64. And then it would be, I believe, the... Let me think. What, what came after the Nintendo 64? I think it was the... Nintendo 64? I think it was a Game Boy. I think it was a Game Boy Advance, I think. The one without the... The, the one without the, the backlight on the, on the screen. And let's see. And it was a purple glacier one. I remember the see-through Game Boy Advance. I remember that one. Um, and then I think after the Game Boy, it was the, um, the GameCube. And after the GameCube, it was the Game Boy Advance SP. And then after the SP, I think came out the, let's see, which one, uh, which one was it? I can't remember which one it was. Um, after the GameCube. I think after the GameCube, I actually didn't buy any other consoles until recent years um which was let me see because i got into skateboarding and i, I left the, the video game um era of uh, video game life for, for a while uh so i was a skateboarder back then and then that was during high school and middle school 
I remember. Um, let me think. I think it, it was the GameCube, and then it was the. Uh... Oh, you see, this is what I mean when when they call for help, because now I have to attack Yes Man Junior. Um, I already defeated Skate Punk, so okay, he's attacking. Me. He, he doesn't give me that much damage, though. I can appreciate that. Um, so anyways, back to the subject on the consoles. <sighs> Which one was it? After the GameCube. I think after the GameCube, I just stuck to PC games. Honestly, it was just PC games after that. And then after PC, what was it? PC, it was, um... I think it was back to, um... I think it went back to... Let's see... I didn't get the Wii um, after the after the GameCube after the PC. I just oh yes, now I remember the Nintendo DS. The the I my Nintendo DS, the first generation Nintendo DS that I got was from Toy Toys R Us, and I remember I was the one that bought it for myself because I was um I was raising up um you know from for my allowance, so I bought the DS from Toy Toys R Us. I remember and. I bought the remake of Super Mario 64 for the DS. So from that on, it was the let's see, Nintendo DS, and then I believe I got the Nintendo DS Lite, but I got the white one because I wanted the black one, the black pearl one. But they didn't have it in stock when I went to go buy it. And again, I ended up raising allowance. I I saved my allowance so I can buy the Nintendo DS Lite for myself. Which I did, and then at the end, me and, what, this is what my, me and my friend did. We traded our Nintendo DS's for... I got his black one, and he got my white one. So, and I really wanted the black one too, so I was like, hey, you know what? Let's trade. So we ended up trading DS's, and he ended up getting mine, and I ended up getting his, whatever. Anyways, um, after the DS Lite, I think... Let me see. After that one... I think I got a PlayStation Portable, I think. And that was... I actually never got any other consoles besides the Nintendo afterwards. Before then. Let me think. No. Yeah, I was in the Nintendo DS Lite. And then I went to... um. Oh wow, so many of them. I got the attention of one of them. That's a good part. So after... Let me see. Yeah, no, from then on, I just kept my only consoles that I had. And up until now, I still have my Nintendo 64 console. Which I still have it, like, just right there sitting. And just collecting dust, because I don't want to sell it or anything. It's it's my, it's my an original. My dad bought it for me when I was, um, I think, five or six years old. At least what I can remember. And then I moved up to, I think, what was the first one? The Wii U afterwards no we bought the wii because of my nephew because he wanted the wii or actually i wanted the wii but <laughs> we ended up going to GameStop and buy a pre-owned one because they never had a new one okay so it looks like i got the attention of both of them unfortunately but yeah the wii was the first console that i ever that i wanted to get so we actually ended up buying the Wii at GameStop, and then I'm the one that bought the Wii U afterwards, which we're now using. So, and then my last console, oh no, then I bought the Nintendo 3DS, and then it was in a new Nintendo 3DS, which is the blue one, the Galaxy one, which I'm pretty sure, I think it's out of, you can't actually, actually find it anymore. But yeah, I bought that one, and I pre-ordered my Nintendo Switch. Which, lucky for me, I had enough money to actually pay for it. Um, so, yeah, I have my Nintendo Switch. So, those are actually... My, that's my history of my Nintendo with me. Um, but, yeah, so far... I'll, but I also have um, a PlayStation 4. Uh, which I kind of use it from, from now, here now. But it's not so much as a, as a Wii and the Wii U. I mean, the Wii U and the Switch. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, I have 139 left. I think I'm just gonna go to Frank. Let's see what happens. And I have enough in stock. So what we gotta do is we gotta fight these guys. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You'd better just beat it. Okay. Do you engage the Pogo Punk? Just missed. The Pogo fell down. Okay, I gotta attack this guy. But he's these guys are kind of easy though, to be honest. 
And he fell down again. I'm I'm gonna win this straight out, guys. Oh wow, I took a lot of damage actually. Uh, I'm gonna use a hamburger because I need to refuel. I don't want to end up using my psychic power just yet. Actually, I'm gonna use a cookie, which it's only gonna give me six health. But I think I should use the hamburger. Now I'm maxed out. You sound like a real whiner, don't make it give me I'll kick your butt. Okay. So, what you wanna do, go to, if you wanna fight Frank, what you wanna do is, it says, hey kid, do you wanna become a member? You wanna say yes. Come back after you finish Earthbound. But, okay. Oh, wait, my bad. So, if you talk to this guy, what you wanna say is, no. Don't be such a snob, and he'll end up fighting you. Which is kind of easy. You see, I pretty much won already. I won the, the fight. So that's why I'm telling you to level up at least to 7 or 8. 8 the best because it's going to be easier for, for you to fight Frank. So just go outside. And you'll be here at the boss level. Uh, on it. On it. On it. Whoever you say it. I'm Frank. You are? Come on. Can't you at least say your name? So there's two stages for Frank. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So this actually kind of some, or I think the the users, uh, the I mean the developers actually thought of making I think um, Johnny be good to use as the, the music because it sounds like it too. So you want to just keep bashing Frank. Twenty one damage to Rick. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, went down by two. Rick's attack twenty four. So at this point. As long as you don't lose, as long as you don't get up to, um, what do you call it? Ooh, 63 damage to Frank, and he became, but he's gonna end up using his machine. As long as you don't lose, as long as your HP doesn't drop below 15, you're okay. But as soon as you see your HP drop to 15, go ahead and use your hamburger or use whatever you have to, um, regain your HP, your heart points. <laughs> Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, and this is Frankenstein Mark 2. Okay, we're gonna use Bash. Test our luck. 18 of damage. I think with just a few more hits, and he's gonna be down. If we get lucky, we'd be lucky. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so okay. mortal damage you can't actually recover from that. What you want to do then? Okay, let's just keep bashing. Ooh. We're gonna use our hamburger because we don't end up wanna lose any health. And we're gonna bash him. 15 HP of damage. Okay, that's not bad. 20 HP of damage to Mark 2. And was destroyed. So yeah, use strategies that you know will help out. Um and defeating uh okay, now I'm level eight. Defense went up by four. Oh baby one defense went up by three. Speed up one up by one. Guts went up luck by two. HP by three. Yes, tw by two. PSI switch A. What's switch A? Or alpha, I should say. This is my first defeat. Fail per Frank is now just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be a quite powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there. That allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all their energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. To enter the path of the of leaning, leaning to a giant behind the touring entertainer's shack. Prickle, the mayor of Onnit, has a key to the shack. Rick, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk to Frank again. That way we can rest. Oh, he won't let me rest? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, fine. He won't let me rest. But at least we've gained, um, yeah. 
but at least we've gained at least a little bit more experience points. So now most of the enemies around here are gonna be easy to defeat. Okay, if I don't Rick, if I don't forget, I think we need to go to Town Hall. And then I think we're gonna have to request the mayor's help. Which I believe is through here. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! I'm Mayor B.H. Prick Prickle. It's so nice- I, 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 I think he's a pickle. It's so nice to meet you, but you beat up the town bullies. Punch them out big time, kick their butts, bit their heads off. Okay, I didn't go that far. Okay, I just kicked the butt. I didn't go that far. Spin in- Okay, I didn't go that far either. I'm not a mean person. And made them wet their pants. Okay, maybe I did. Then forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What, you want a key to the touring entertainer shack? Shame on you. For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Now, Rick got the key to the shack. Now, here's another part you might want to take into consideration. You might want to level up to a certain level, maybe 10. Just in case, because the enemies in going towards the giant step will be hard and difficult. Um, although I have already equipped a lot of stuff. Um, it's not a bad idea to actually rest. Although, for the sake of time. Oh yeah, here's a drugstore where you need to go. To actually level up. And get the equipment that you need. Um, let's go through here. I forgot where it's at. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. Alright, so I heard there's a big footprint in the big footprint on the hilltop behind the shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Yeah, the shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so you can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank might have trashed the place. What a drag! You, we can't even change your clothes. Hotels are too expensive. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go through. door is locked okay let's whoops i want the map let's use let's see no no okay let's use goods um key to the shack use you rick use the key to the shack the door open yes so just be aware that before you go through here um once you end up i don't want to spoil anything never mind let's just keep on playing but you do want to be careful here um let's see because some of the enemies are just going to be hard to defeat. Especially the ants. Although if you do defeat them one by... Oh, okay. Yeah, try defeating them little by little. Because they'll give you lots of experience points. And there you go, I won again. <laughs> I guess it doesn't let me waste time with these guys. Because they're simple to defeat. In a way. But you'll gain a lot of experience points. So let's just keep on doing that, actually. Let's see how much we gain. So we need just 330... Oh, 334 experience points left. The mouse. Ooh, yeah, these guys are bad news. You want to be careful with these guys because they will poison you. And they actually do end up having a, a big bite. Yeah, 10 HP of damage to Rick. Just missed. So you want to be careful with these guys. And he is the biting. It's gonna one night. Okay, that's not bad actually. Just miss, and I got 23 damage too. And he became tame. So yeah, just be careful with these guys. You don't end up wanting to be in a fight with these guys. No gang up on you again, but you do have to defeat them this time. Now, these guys are actually easy. The slugs are really easy to defeat you. What you you might want to use auto fight for this one. They won't do that much damage to you. Trust me. And hypnosis doesn't work with them. And then you'll okay. Yeah. For this fight, it's so since it's easy, just go ahead and use auto auto uh, attack. You know, it'll, it'll be easy for you. It won't be that hard. But the rowdy mouse, be careful with that. And I wonder how much, um, exp 
appearance points we're gonna get for this. I'm wondering, I think maybe like at least 40? I hope. We're probably more. 108! There you go! So now we've, um... Okay. Yeah, I don't want to confront you, but I have to. Ugh. Not you. Remind me of Hamtaro. That's evil Hamtaro. He's gonna use a bunny attack. He's gonna. Okay, that's not bad. Just be careful though, because he will end up using his um his biting attack, and it will actually defeat you. Like I said, keep your HP more than 15. If it's less than that, heal up. You're gonna need it. I think we can go out here and we can get something. Don't know who you are. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Something easy. Something easy. And there's nothing here? Okay, I guess. If we go up. Okay. I think there's a place around here where we can actually heal up. I want to say it's this. Oh, a present. Good. Good, good, good. There is a skip sandwich. Rick takes it. Use. Use the skip sandwich when you need to use it. Oh, come on. These guys are easy again. It's a good thing that I'm using this to level up. Again, like I said, use auto fight because it will actually, you know, just relax for a while. Let's go ahead and talk about a few things here now. Okay, guys, what do you think? Should I make more Nintendo, vi more Nintendo videos for you guys? Or do you guys want something with PlayStation related with... I don't know, say like a good backstory or something. I know, I mean, Earthbound has a pretty good backstory if you think about it. But you guys want something from PlayStation? I got a few games. I got Overwatch, I got Tomb Raider. Um, I got, let's see, um, which one? Uh, oh yeah, Resident Evil, I, got, I gotta continue Resident Evil 7. Um, you guys wanna see a Resident Evil 7 video? I got a few in store actually. Um, so, you guys, let me know what you guys wanna see. And he's dead. Awesome. I do have a game coming in from China. You guys will be surprised what game it is though. I want to surprise you guys. I'm not going to tell you the name of the, the game, but I will surprise you guys. <sighs> okay. Ten HP. Down. The good thing is that healing is ten damage. And I gave him a pretty good beating, too. Don't beat your kids, parents. Listen to me. Don't beat your kids. Level 9. Yes. Went up by 12. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay. How much do I need to level up to 10 at least? I need to level up to 10, I believe. 594. Yikes. Okay. Oh, he just went for me. Okay. <laughs> and he's easy to defeat, too. He's, he, it must have been a slug. No doubt about it. Okay. And again, I won. This... I don't want to seem boring, but this is a little bit like... Uh, let's see, cookie. Okay, let's eat the cookie. I got a cookie. I got a cookie. 7 HP. Okay, that's a good part. You! Oh, jeez. Okay, the good thing is that he didn't come for me. That's why I didn't want. Okay. Alright, let's keep talking, guys. Let's see. I do, like I said, I have a game coming in for the Switch. Although, I, I haven't made a video for the Switch just yet. I do have one for Legend of Zelda, but I want to wait until I actually upload it to my, nin my completely Nintendo channel. Because I'm going to make another channel dedicated to everything Nintendo. And then I'm going to make this main channel as playing other games or just talking with you guys. Or I have another project that I want to come up with. I have an idea for a project. But I'm not sure if it'll work. And I'm not sure if you guys will actually back me up on this. Cause I want to, I want to talk. To, I want to talk to people in the morning. You know what I mean? While they're going to work, have them talk about anything you guys want. You know, in the morning, because you know you, you want to go to work and you want to go. You want to go um, pretty well. Uh, okay, okay. And you want to get entertained while you're in the car as well, but at the same time you don't want to end up. Okay. Um, yeah, so I want to do, like, uh, something for 
the mornings, but it's not like your typical... I don't want to say the word because it'll give it away. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably leave something, um, maybe hints around my videos, just, you know, that way you guys can find the Easter eggs. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, but other than that, yeah. So I gained 71 experience points. Let's see, I have to keep going up. But I know there's something around here. Maybe we can go inside this cave. You'll know when you get to the, the, the enemy. Okay. Right. It's funny how they, when you move, they move. You move, they move. Okay. So you want to bash this guy first. Okay, that didn't take that much. Okay. So this point on, you do want to end up eating your hamburger. I hate the fact that they end up going first rather than me. So let's use Bash to Mighty Mouse. A. Hey, so he's down already, so that way you don't have to worry about this guy anymore. And sometimes they don't want to end up giving you that much, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, one damage, that's a good part. Okay. So we use Bash? Yeah, Bash. Hold on, guys. So I won 68 experience points. That's the good part. But now we can actually go in here. Let's see what opened the present. There is a cold remedy inside. We might need it. I don't remember that much. We might. And they're gonna attack you from just... Wow, that's a lot. Ooh, okay. You're gonna get a lot of experience points from this. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more, guys. Let's see. What subject can we talk about? Let me think. Oh yeah, leave a comment below. Which console was your first console? I want to know. I'm curious about that. Was it a PlayStation? Or was it a X? Well, Xbox. I don't know. But your childhood console. Mine obviously was the Super Nintendo because that's the time that I started playing games. But yeah. Um. Okay, became tame. Slug F. Slug F. Tried hypnosis, didn't work very well. I'm actually thinking about quitting my day job, you guys. It's honestly, it's kind of killing me. Um, yeah, this is the first time I'm talking honestly with you guys, and I'm not like really open to open myself up that much. But as most of you know, I work at Disney, and it's kind of I don't want to say demanding, it kind of is from the schedules that they give me, but you know, it's, I got, uh, I got a lot of bills to pay and it's just, it's killing me over there. Like I, that's not what I want to do for a living. Like I want to make videos for a living and like I barely, you know, I just came to the conclusion of that, that I want to make videos for you guys and it's fun making these videos and it's, although editing does take time, but it's you know fun commenting on this especially from some of you guys that actually do reach out to me and actually comment back i really appreciate that because it tells me that you know my videos are actually reaching out to you guys and not, i'm not just making videos for the heck of it and that's what i want to know um i that's what i want um but yeah Ooh, there's one right here <laughs> thought you can hide from me okay black antonin's cohort what you want to do is fight the black antoid first because this guy really will attack. Okay, hopefully, yeah, he became tame. That's a good part. He won't do give that much damage. These guys are very easy. So be if you see if you see one of them attack, especially the ant that comes to you, be careful with him. Attack him first. The slugs won't do anything. Well, there's a bunch of them right here. Oh, they all ganged up on me. I hope they're just slugs. Yes, they're slugs. That's the good part about here. Once you keep on going up, it you end up having a chance of, like, attacking them. And you get more experience points. That's the good part. So, yeah, I mean... Going back to, the, to my job, it's... I mean, the friendships that I made were, they're, they're fine, and they're cool. I mean, 
the people that you work with make your day go faster but it's not about anything of that it's just kind of tiring too it's like and i don't like schedules to be honest i hate schedules i want to just do what it comes up and just be free from all of that and schedules makes me feel like i'm tied down to something and I, I don't like being tied down to anything um making videos for me is not a schedule it's more like hey you know what i want to do this and i want to comment on this and it's not scheduled based for me even though it should be and i feel bad for you guys not giving you that many videos but i feel like schedule is, is just ruining my life for me like i need to be free to do what i want and disney is not giving me the opportunity to be what i want um so i j i have to keep the job for the meanwhile but i honestly just want to continue doing youtube yay level 10 all right that's one up by one by, by three yes but by one power of healing oh yes healing that's gonna be helpful a lot honestly guys helpful healing will help you out especially like if they give you a cold or anything if the enemies will give you a cold that will help out so much then we go out here yes okay so before if you see one of these guys okay i think if you go back in and out i think you will in and out haha <laughs> get it in and out okay i think a butterfly appears around here somewhere just keep going in and out and you'll eventually see him uh, which i hope no come on you gotta give me something no well well my bad i don't think he will appear yes okay use this opportunity to heal it will be very good for you life up now i'm maxed out so i'm at 93 now and i can use this to relax and i'll just get back my physics points again c31 and he the 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 ant is gonna be a lot easier to defeat now i hope oh wow okay i won but now you want to open this good hamburger i took it i took it I bet that was a slug. I'm pretty sure that was a slug. And you want to go down to this guy. Just to get more experience points. Obviously, here guys. That's what we're going for, right? Okay. Ooh, okay. I hope these are not antoids. They're slugs. Yes. So one by one? Really? Oh, jeez. Okay. These guys. I really hate them. Although they're easy to defeat too, but they give you damage. 9 HP damage. And I think he's dead too. He's became tame. That's a good part. Okay, I gained 74 experience points. I think after this, I think the boss is near. Oh, okay. Well, as long as I didn't get red. Uh, I mean, as long as you don't get the red swirl. That's the good part. But just one hit, and they're pretty much dead. Oh, great. Just... Just missed. How can you miss that? It's an ant. Even my feet can kill it in one kill. One hit. Okay, not to worry, guys. We got this under control. And more came. How perfect can this be? I just want to hit myself in, a, in the face with the controller. Which I did. You just didn't see me because I don't have a face cam. Oh, who did you? Who? Okay, no. That angers me so much. You used healing. No one is allowed to heal but me. And you're going to get it. No one. I repeat, no one. Okay, you did. Well, guess what? Your friend paid the price for you. How do you feel about that? Huh? How do you feel? Don't you feel guilty? That your friend had to sacrifice himself for you because you used heal up. How do you like that, huh? And I won. Guess what? 148 experience points. And I'm going to use a hamburger. Actually, skip sandwich. 
Wow. That did not help out at all. It's funny how he climbs. <laughs> Look how he climbs, watch. Dick, 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 dick. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. 61 experience, okay. Okay. Let's see. Yes. I'm maxed out. Okay. Let's go ahead and defeat this guy. And you're gonna have to talk to him. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Titanic ant and okay. I don't have PSI. Why well, don't I have PSI switch? Twenty-three damage to me, but I can use. PSI switch I guess is what it's called. And he's dead. Pretty much blank android became tame, but I can use PSI. So yeah, just keep using PSI on this guy. Cause he'll eventually end up sucking out everything from you. Let's use um no, let's use PSI from this point on. To, and he became tame. There you go. So just keep using PSI on this guy. He'll be easy to, to kill. So there you go. So and uh, we're in level 11 now apparently. HP went up by three. Ma Ooh, by one. But that's not enough to recover, is it now? Let's go through here and let's recover our first sanctuary. Oh, get ready, guys. I'm gonna be quiet for this point. Rick caught a glimpse of a small cute puppy. Of course, I love puppies. Recorded the melody of the giant step. Nice. Ooh, okay. So from this point on, this is an interesting part too. So, with that being said, look what happens when you encounter an enemy. They'll run away from you. From this point on, Go ahead and try defeating every one of them because you will definitely be able to win a, a lot of experience points. See how it's green? So now I can engage the blank Antoid and I can use, um, let's use PSI switch because I want to. And watch what happens. Damage the blank Antoid A, became tame, became tame, and guess what, how many points, experience points you get? 74 so keep on just trying to defeat the enemies because they'll run away from you they'll be too scared to fight you see what i mean so just keep doing that and then eventually you'll end up uh leveling up a lot so just keep doing that so for the meanwhile i'll leave you here uh, i'll leave you guys here for the for the remainder of the video anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this enjoyed this video as much as i did and i'll see you guys in the next episode and as always guys i love you take care everybody Bye bye